Good afternoon. It is October the 14th, 2016. Time to um, recap our trading today. Uh, again, we start out in the E-mini. Uh, the big idea, sell 39s to 41s. We did get up to 43 right here. Um, the uh, trades, um, this S right here was a legitimate trade. That was a loser. Uh, any of these buys right here would have produced uh, at least one point. This S does not stop out. We missed getting stopped out by one a tick. Good for six points if you traded it perfectly. Any one of these four S's would have been a winner. Uh, this B just skates through. Those two are winners. Um, make a point or two down here, depending on your entry. So one loser for the day. The rest of the trades worked out as anticipated. Our first, our buy zone was 30 to 32. Our second buy zone was 25 to 27. So number one resistance holds. Uh, number two is where we expect the uh, market to get, and that's that's what happened. So reasonable day trading uh, the E-mini. Looking at the F1 screen, higher low, higher high. We can trade higher. My guess is is that we've got pretty stout resistance at. Uh, 21 45 to 50 right now we haven't been able to get through that and it looks like there's reasonable support down below 21.15. so f1 says we can look for a place to buy it f2 definitely a b last rotate up stopped at 33 so 33 35 sell one 40 42 sell two on the buy side, 25, 27 by one, and then 20 to 22 by two. We do have news on Monday. I don't have any guesstimates for it. Empire State Manufacturing Survey, industrial production. Industrial production will be the news focus. That can move markets. Looking at the 10-year note, which is where the volume is, it's also where the hedge is. Lower high, lower low, find a place to sell it. Um, a P, if you look at the uh, composite, the full day's distribution, perhaps the new distribution lower, right here, um, starting in K period. JKL is when we expect a new move if one's to happen uh, in this particular contract. So that fits. So uh, resistance is uh, so 31 to 03, sell 1. 7 to 11, sell 2. On the buy side, 21, 25, buy 1, a little bit lower. And 13 to 17, buy 2. Looking at the 30-year, uh, pretty nice spill. We took out the 63.20. Uh, we haven't had much in the way of rebounds, so uh, right now 12 to 16 is R1. Um, 19 to 23, sell one. 31 to 03, sell two. On the uh, support side, 4 to 8. So 29 to 01 by 1. 17 to 21 by 2.
Gold was pointed lower the when we looked at it last. Lower high, lower low. Uh, could be very well be a move out of the middle right here in T period on today's action. Um, D pattern right here, leaning P. So we will see what it brings. D patterns usually yield trading ranges. So 55, 57, sell so one. Picking up the top of value. 60, 62, sell two. Uh, on the buy side, 45, 47. I'm going to put a question mark at 50. If we can't take out 50, then we'll have to move these numbers up. And then 40 to 42 by 2. Okay, crude. Uh, contract expiration. We roll to the DS contract on Tuesday morning. Uh, that usually will bring some short covering, so we have a chance to trade the market up uh, in through uh, Thursday next week into Thursday. We'll see if that happens. Uh, don't be surprised if we catch a news article uh, over the weekend. Yeah, from Venezuela or the countries that are in trouble. So, yep. We're going to adhere to the production. Going to get there. Uh, higher low, higher high. So this screen says crude can trade higher. And looking right here, uh, 50 to 75, sell one. 51, 51 and a quarter, sell two. On the buy side, 75 to 50 cents, 50 bucks, buy one, 49.25, 49.50, buy two. Well, it looks like the 49.50 minus market, maybe a 51.50 50 plus as it stands right now. And the euro is gradually trading lower. Bottom isn't falling out of the market. In lower high, maybe it looks like the Tizig, but a lower low, so that's close enough. Um, so the F1 favors the sell. And um, <coughs> definitely leaning B, pretty square. I'm starting a distribution down perhaps in J period or K. We did make new lows into the close, so this one is pointed lower. So 1025, sell one. 1045, 55, sell two. The buy side, I think we're headed lower, so we'll put out a 109.75 by one. I think we're going to get stops below 110, so we'll put a question mark at 110. And then 109.50 by 2. And somebody's going to cover against 109.50. So our play right now in the Euro is for 109.50. And that does it for this October the 14th. Uh, you all have a great weekend. I plan on the same. Uh, Tennessee plays uh, Alabama. Uh, tomorrow should be a good game. Uh, hopefully, we're really uh, depleted injury-wise. Lost a lot of players. Hopefully, we can stand on the field with them. Nobody expects us to win, but it is college football, and it can happen. So I'm not going to be too vested one way or the other in us winning this game or not. At the start of the season, we were guessing 9-3, perhaps 10-2, and it looks like 10-2 uh, could be our... Uh, where we end up the year. So y'all have a great weekend. Uh, we're going to be in the 80s. Uh, wind is definitely from the south, so it'll warm up. Uh, get some pretty good deck time this weekend. 
I'm out of here.